praise the Lord. I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, my Lord and Savior, for giving me this opportunity to come to share with you a few prophetic things that God has laid in my hands which are about to happen on the face of the earth that will change the entire history of humanity. My name is Evangelist Seth Omondi Olale and I've been preaching the gospel for the past 35 years having been saved in 1988 at a crusade of the late Reinhard Bonke who was my spiritual father and mentor from the time I got saved after being a Rastafarian for seven years. On November the 11th of 2023, I was taking a short nap in the afternoon. I was feeling tired and I decided to take a rest in the afternoon on a Saturday. And I thought I, I thought that I was just going to sleep and have a rest and wake up and go back and help my wife in her food canteen business because my wife does catering. Little did I know that God was going to use that opportunity to speak to me about a coming event that is about to happen around the world that will shake the entire world, that will change the history and the course of humanity very soon. As I slept, suddenly I found myself dreaming in a very powerful vision and dream that was so real, that was so clear I actually woke up from the dream in a panic. I woke up and grabbed the blanket of the bed I was sleeping in, in our room, because I thought it was actually happening in real time. Little did I know that it was a dream that the Lord was showing me. The dream that I dreamt on November 11th, 2023, was about a coming world war. It was a world war, World War Three, that was about to take place on the face of the earth. The World War Three that I was shown was going to take place surrounding the nation of Israel in the Middle East. Israel was soon going to go into a major war between the nation of Israel and the surrounding Arab nations. And America was going to be involved. Russia too was going to be involved. And this war was going to is going to escalate beyond the control of, of humanity. What you saw happening in Israel in October 7th, 2023 is nothing compared to what is about to take place in the Middle East. It is going to be a serious military escalation that will shake the entire world. In the war that I saw in the dream, and I found myself in, in World War Three. I saw multitudes of warplanes going across, screaming in the sky, going into the Far East. I believe they were American and Israeli warplanes in a huge formation going towards the east to bomb nations in the Middle East. I believe Syria is going to be attacked, Lebanon, Hezbollah, 
is about to be attacked, the nation of Iran is about to be attacked, and many other nations in the Middle East are going to be attacked by Israel and America, and many nations in the Middle East are about to attack the nation of Israel. I'm talking about Iran, I'm talking about Lebanon, I'm talking about Syria, Hezbollah, Yemen, Turkey, Egypt, Jordan, I'm talking about possibly Afghanistan coming into the war, North African nations, Algeria, Libya, Tunisia, Sudan, Somali, and many Muslim nations are going to join the war against Israel. I don't rule out Saudi Arabia coming in to fight against the nation of Israel because I, I was shown a world war taking place, World War III. I found myself in the Gaza Strip in, in, in Israel and also in the Gaza Strip and war was raging on. Hamas was blowing up Israeli military tanks using sophisticated anti-aircraft weapons similar to the javelin missiles that America has given Ukraine. I don't know whether they were the same weapons that America gave Ukraine and were later sold in the black market and found their way to Hamas and Hezbollah. But I saw his Israeli battle tanks being blown apart by anti-aircraft uh, rocket system similar to the Javelin. Or maybe they were uh, Iranian and Russian weapons supplied to Hezbollah and Hamas, which resembled the Javelin missile system. I saw Israel fighting and taking out so many ground targets in the ground and in the air. Sophisticated anti-aircraft missile system were blowing up and blowing out and destroying modern warplanes in the air. Nations and cities were being destroyed and there was chaos and fear all over. Let me tell you, when this war begins shortly, the entire world will know that God is judging and shaking the earth. People will know that World War III has started. You will not need to be, to be told by anybody that World War III has started. But this announcement that is going to be made across the world, that World War III has started, that announcement is going to be made from the United States. Because in the vision, I saw myself holding my telephone, my cell phone, screen, touch screen, and I was reading the headlines, which were saying that America has declared war against Russia, and America was giving Russia nine days to stand down. And if Russia was not going to change course, then America was declaring World War III against Russia. And I panicked in fear and actually woke up from that dream and I was screaming and saying, Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my, oh my, oh my. What? What? Those were the last words I said as I woke up and I called my son Zablon asking him, Zablon, are you there? And the room was silent. Zablon was not in the house. When this war breaks out, it will not matter how much money you have in the bank account. It will not matter how many degrees you have of education. It will not matter what position you have in the society. It will not matter how 
which how many cars you drive or whether you have a car or not it will not matter whether you are a millionaire or a poor man the only thing that will matter is do you know the Lord Jesus Christ as, as your savior because what is coming will shake the world 2023 I believe this war is coming I believe this is the war that is mentioned in Psalms 83 that will also lead to the war of Gog and Magog that is in Ezekiel chapter 38 and Ezekiel 39, the World War III that will bring in all the nations against the nation of Israel. When Gog and Magog, the United Nations, come down with the Arab armies and all the armies of the world are going to, to be summoned to fight and wage war against the nation of Israel as God promised in the book of Zechariah. We read in the, in the book of Revelation chapter 9 verse 13 to 15 that the sixth angel was given pa permission and authority to sound the trumpet and to release the four angels that are bound in the river Euphrates and when these angels are released, they are given power to destroy a third of humanity, which means that over two billion people are going to be killed in the coming war. Also, we release, we, we see that uh, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 16 verse 12 that the river Euphrates was caused to be dried to pave way for the kings of the east to come to attack the nation of Israel and to invade Jerusalem and this is part of the end time Bible prophecy. The, the nations that are now gathered against Israel they are all found in the river Euphrates. You are speaking of Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran, and the surrounding nations of Lebanon, and, uh, and Turkey, and, uh, and, uh, and the Middle Eastern nations, Arab nations. They all border the nations that are found in the river Euphrates. So this shows that the Bible is right, that the Bible is true. And uh, we read also in uh, Zechariah chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, that all nations in the world are going to be gathered to fight against Jerusalem. This is the United Nations. The United Nations is actually the United Nations against Israel. That is why it was formed. It is the United Nations against Israel. And the main objective is to take over Jerusalem and to hand it over to the Antichrist. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 1 to 3 says that all nations shall be gathered against Jerusalem. The city of Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city of Jerusalem will be taken away and handed over to the United Nations and we are going to see so many things happening in these end times and we need to pray for the nation of Jerusalem we need to pray for the nation of Jerusalem we need to pray for the city of Jerusalem and the nation of Israel that God will protect the nation of Israel when these things begin to happen. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 1 to 3 says all nations will attack the nation of Israel and the city of Jerusalem will be taken away. Half of Jerusalem will be taken as captives and taken to the exile. The women will be raped 
and the houses destroyed. So we need to pray for the city of Jerusalem. Jesus also said in Luke 21, verse 20, that Jerusalem, Jerusalem will be surrounded by armies and Jerusalem, Jer the city of Jerusalem will be trampled by the Gentiles. And they will fall by the sword and many will be taken captive. Many will be taken captive by the invading armies. So we need to pray for the nation of Israel and the city of Jerusalem. We are living in the end times and Jesus Christ is coming soon. So I am here by announcing again that in, on, on November 11th, 2023, God showed me a dream and I saw World War III breaking out in the Middle East. A great war is coming between Israel and the surrounding nations that will shake the world. America will be involved. Russia will be involved, and I also believe that China will be involved, Hezbollah, Hamas, Iran, Turkey, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Egypt, Jordan, North Africa, Syria, and possibly Saudi Arabia, and uh, many Arab and Islamic nations are going to attack Israel, and uh, this is going to be a very devastating war. Because uh, if you read in the book of uh, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, the Bible says that two-thirds of the Jews living in Israel will be killed, and only one-third will escape. And this one-third are, are the ones that are going to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. So we need to pray for the nation of Israel that the Jews there are going to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and the Messiah before two-thirds of the Jews are killed. It is going to be a devastating war. The Bible says very clearly that two-thirds of the Jews living in Israel will, will be killed once this war begins. Read Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8 and only one-third will escape. Out of the two-thirds, out of the uh, out of the out of the entire population in Israel, two-thirds will die, according to Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, and only one-third will escape. So we need to pray for the nation of Israel. God bless you, and God keep you, and share this video with many people as you can, especially the Jews in America and the Jews in Israel. God bless you. My name is Evangelist Seto Mondiolale, and I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. God bless you and God keep you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.